and welcome back at Benny. After we have finished the mirror alignment last time, next thing we do is to make sure that the laser is shooting vertically on the bed. This can help us to get the ideal laser cutting effect on the surface while we're cutting thicker materials. Now let's get the ball rolling. If your laser is not shooting vertically on the bed, you might get this, but we don't like this, so what we can do about that? In brief, we need to do the near and far shot at the position of the focal length and the deepest position of the panel. And we need the near shot to be in the center of the far shot. According to our actual operation results, we will adjust the screws on this tube mount that will change the position and the height of the laser tube until your near shot is on the center of the far shot. Okay, now let's start to have our near and far shot. So this is our near shot and this is our far shot. We want them to overlap, so apparently we need to move the far shot to the upper place and move it a little bit to the right. To give the far shot up and down adjustments, we will use this Allen key to unscrew these four. And then we can slightly move this tube mount to change the position of the laser tube. As for left and right adjustment, we will use this Allen key to unscrew these drop screws. And then you can roll your finger to this mounting screw to change the height of the laser tube. And you can run several tests here until your near shot is on the center of the far shot. Okay, after our adjustment, now let's do near and far shot again. Compared to the first test, it's very clear that the near shot is on the center of the far shot now, so we're good. Okay, now let's use some 10 millimeter acrylic board to do some laser cutting to check if the result is good enough. Good job! After completing the vertical part due to the movement of the laser tube, you might need to realign all the mirrors and you can watch this video in case you need it. Okay, now it's officially done. Your laser machine is ready to go. Just look at how pretty the cutting surface is now. It's quite nice, right? Alright, I hope this is helpful for you. Leave your thumbs up and follow our channel. There will be more valuable and helpful videos for you. See you next time. Bye!